Good morning. This morning, hi, is that Stark? Hi, Stark. This morning, you might want to remove rings. If you have rings on your fingers, you might also want to have a decent selection of weights, everything from your heaviest <laughs> to your lightest. We did this workout last week, and uh, it does get really intense in the shoulder, so it's really wise to have a selection of weights, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and pull some music over for you in case you would like it. By no means do you have to use it. This is actually just a little pre-curated playlist. I did not create it, so it'll be a bit of a wild show over here. Okay, it's in the chat if you'd like it. <clears throat> And let's go. We have 45 minutes to crank this. Okay, so we start with our plank position. Melissa, if you don't want to be in that plank position, you can be going into isolated lateral raise, staying on one side, okay? You might also want to do like a lateral raise to a knee lift. Everyone else, we're gonna be down on the floor with 30 seconds in that plank position. It's a lateral raise. I'm gonna demo from quadruped in case somebody wants to use that position as well. So you're here, tap, reach back out, bring it back down. So you're working on, obviously, your shoulders, but it's a stabilization process the whole entire time, okay? So how can you stabilize the body? If you wanted to bring it one next level from here, you could then try to tap through, reach back out. These are modifications. I'm gonna go into the plank position. The other thing that we're gonna do, slow eccentric push-ups, okay? All right, taking us in four. So full plank position if it's available to you. Three, two. We lift the right hand, stabilize. Tap the left foot, reach back out with the right hand, hand to the floor. Same side, right hand lifts. Tap, reach, back down. Now notice, I just noticed on myself, my hands were kind of already out in front of me. We do want to try to keep them underneath the shoulders. That does make it a little bit harder. Beautiful, we have four. We have three, two, one. Quick little rest. Give those wrists a quick little roll out. We'll go to the other side. Taking off in four. Stabilizing through the midsection and the shoulders. Three, two, here we go. Lift the left hand, tap the right foot, lift back out, hand goes back down. Breathing, reach, back down, up, tap, reach, back down. We're trying to have a nice slow, controlled movement here. It might not be that way right here in the beginning. As we get a little bit more stable, we can slow it down. Three, two, and one. Nice. Waiting here for a second. We're going to go into our eccentric push-ups. Always totally fine to do these from your knees. I will demo those in the beginning here. We're down for five seconds. Here we go. For five, four, three, two, one. Strong push. We're down for five, four, three, two, one. Bottom position. Check yourself. Make sure your shoulders are pulled away from your ears. Three, two, one. Big push. We have five, four, three, two, one, push to the top, and set up for your plank, lateral abduction, to toe touch. We will alternate sides this time. Okay, three, two, feet are spread. Here we go, right arm lifts. <sighs> tap the left foot, reach back out, hand down, left arm lifts. Tap, reach, hand back down. So if you need a little bit more support, <sighs> think feet a little bit wider apart. Reach, tap, Reach, shift back down. Good, excellent. We have eight seconds left right here. Reach, back down. We have four, three, two, and one. Again, sit back, give your wrist a second, roll them out a little bit. We'll go into our eccentric push-up, either from the knees or full plank position. Three, two, here we go. We're down for five, four, three, two, one strong push. We have five, four, three, two, one. Big push. Again, five, four, three, two, one. Strong push. Five, four, three, 
two, one, big push, hold, hold, and release, good. So we're just gonna go through that two times. I feel like we feel like warm after that, I don't know, I'm pretty warm. <laughs> Maybe give those arms a little bit of movement. I'm also apparently pretty sore. Anyways, okay, so we're gonna go into dumbbell lateral raise. So for 45 seconds, we are lifting up and up to size up. We will be standing. It is always available to you if you'd like to be kneeling or seated. Um, but on that dumbbell lateral raise, remember our arms aren't locked out and we're not required to go directly out to a T, okay? The way that I do it is a slight bend, lift, right to shoulder height, and my arms are slightly angled in front of my shoulders, right, right, slightly in front. Try to think too that your elbows don't drop. They stay at the same height as your hands, okay? So you lift and bring it back down. So 45 seconds right there. I would start with a lighter set. Uh, for reference, I'm going to start with 10 pounds. Maybe on the next rounds, I will go a little bit heavier, but I'm just gonna give my shoulders a little bit more time to get into this motion before I jack up the weight. We're then gonna go into a lateral moving push-up. So if we start here, we take a step to the right to a wide position, we do a push-up, step to the center, over, okay? So it's just this lateral moving, again, working the shoulders and the chest at the same time. We're then gonna go into Arnold press. So with Arnold press, we are starting right here, palms face you, press, right back, press, right back. Later on, we'll go to Scarecrow. Scarecrow is from here, open, up and overhead. So we come to this position later on. So it's here in the beginning, from here, up, here, and up. Okay, kind of keeping it in closer to the midline. We'll finish with floor chest press. So from a bridge position, floor chest press, both weights, two weights, we'll go into variations that you can throw in, uh, which would be single leg bridge position, okay? That was a lot of talking. Whew. Okay, 45 seconds on. We'll have about 10 seconds to rest in between or transition. Um, and we'll go through three rounds. Y'all ready? We're taking off in three. Oops, what happened there? There we go. Okay, taking off in three, in two, and here we go. Exhale, lift. Inhale, control it back down. Exhale, lift. Now, you can move faster than me, you can move slower than me. Just focus on your body, okay? Make sure that the belly is pulled in, right? Make sure that when you're doing these, you're not rocking, okay? Save the rocking, save that for the last set. If that's happening on the last set, I'd say you've successfully hit a point of fatigue, but if you're hitting that already here in the beginning, chances are the weight is a little too heavy. We have 12 seconds. Excellent. Arms slightly bent. We have six. We have four. Three, two, and one. Lateral moving push up. So we're down on the floor, starting hands right in the center. We'll take a step out to the right, do a wide push up, center to the left. Three, two, here we go. Step to the right, wide push up, center, step to the left. Take your time. Good, think of inhaling, bringing yourself closer to the floor. Exhale, push. Good, belly stays pulled in. Kneeling position is also totally fine on this. And then let's also watch the angle of our elbows. We do wanna to try to keep them at about a 45 degree angle. You might be pivoting on the feet. In fact, you are pivoting on the feet, but if you feel like you're moving around a lot, it's okay. 10 seconds. Beautiful. We have five, we have three, two, and one. Ooh, this is a diesel set. Arnold, six seconds. <sighs> Taking off in three, two, weights, palms start facing you. Press, bring it right back down. <sighs> and right back down. <sighs> 35 seconds left. My shoulders are already burning. Good, 30 seconds. Exhale up, inhale back down. Exhale up, inhale back down, beautiful. So, so good, come on, 18 seconds. Push, 15, 
You got this. Come on up. Control back down. Big press. Good. We have six. We have four. Three, two, and one. Floor chest press. I'm going to start with both feet on the floor for this first round. The next two I'll go into single leg bridges. Three, two, and we're up. Bridge position. We inhale down. Exhale, push. Inhale down. Strong exhale and push. Now as you're in that bridge position, make sure that you're not overextending and putting it straight into the low back. Retract the shoulder blades. Push. Keep them retracted even as you push the weights up and overhead. Come on, you got this. Very, very good. You could use dumbbells. You could use kettlebells. Whatever you have available to you. Push. We have six seconds left. Very, very good. We have two and one. Woo. Starting from the top. Lateral raise. Taking off in three. I'm staying with my tens. Two and one. Here we go. Woohoo! Major shoulder burn. Beautiful. So now if you didn't want to stay with that lighter weight, you want to go up in your weight. You don't need to do as many reps. Excellent job. We have 30 seconds still remaining. Very, very good. Come on up. Nice job. It would be unrealistic to think that you could do the same amount of reps as your weights are increasing every single set. Right? Be compassionate with yourself. Know that it's not about the reps. It's about the quality of the movement. We have five. We have three, two, and one. Woo. Lateral moving push up. Feet stay anchored and you're pivoting with the rest of the body. We have three. We have two. Here we go. Step out to the right. Inhale down. Exhale push. Step center. Step left. Good, 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 good. You got this. Beautiful. Big push. So, so good. 27 seconds remaining. Inhale down. Strong exhale push. So good. Come on. Push. Beautiful. Nice job. We have 12 seconds left. Come on. We have four. We have three, two, and one. Oh, Arnold's seven seconds. Three, we have two. Here we go, up. Control it back down. Exhale, press. These are getting sloppy for me. Good, come on. Up. Nice job. About 30 seconds remaining right here. Big press. Come on. Up. Up, up. You got it. 20 seconds. Come on. Big press. Beautiful. Hi, Lorelei. 11 seconds. Come on. So, so strong. Up. We have six. We have four. Chest press coming up. Three, two, and one. Ooh, the wheels came off there for me. Five seconds. Taking off. Three, two, one. This time I'm going to lift my right leg and go through in a single bridge position. That is an option available to you. You don't have to do it. You can stay in that nice, strong, two-footed bridge as well. Inhale, pull down. Strong exhale, push. Come on. Beautiful. We have 18 seconds left right here. Keep in mind what leg you have lifted. For me, it's my right. On the last round, I'm going to go ahead and lift the other. Very, very good. Come on, push. You got it. Inhale, pull down. We have three, two, and one. Okay. Final round of this big set. Lateral raise. Three, two, here we are. Holy 
shoulders. Holy shoulders. We gotta get through it, we got it, come on. Up, 35 seconds left. Squeeze and lift, control down. Exhale, lift, control down. Come on, 25 seconds. You got this, you're so strong. Keep pushing through, nice job. We have 18 seconds. 15, come on, you can do it. Next up, push up, lateral moving on the floor. We have eight seconds. We have five. Come on, three, two, and one. Lateral moving, push up. We're down on the floor. Perfect. Taking off in four. Oh my God, my arms. Three, two, here we go, step. Inhale down, exhale, push. Oh God, I got the giggles now. Come on, push. That happens to me when I hit failure. <laughs> Good. We have about 32 seconds left. Inhale down, strong exhale, push. Beautiful. Remember on our push-ups, no matter if we're kneeling or in that full plank position, we do have a connection on the entire front line of our body. So I want you to think from your toes, pushing those toes into the floor, gripping. Or if it's your knees, very pressure into the knees. That'll help solidify the front line of the body. We have six seconds left. We have two and one. Very good. Arnold. Oh, these ones. These ones right here. Three, two, here we go. I really wish we could use our legs. <laughs> We're trying not to though. Push. Very good. So again, as I've said, the wheels are coming off for me. So what does that mean? It means I am flaring my ribs. I tend to kind of put it into the low back. So if that's happening for you, drop your weight, meaning go to a lighter weight. <sighs> Work with it as long as you can. <sighs> See if you can make little corrections. And then if you can't, <sighs> it's time to bring that weight down. 10 seconds. <sighs> Come on. Up. <sighs> we have five. Push. We have three. <sighs> Two. And one. Oh my God. Floor chest press. Left leg is going to lift this time. If you lift a single leg. Three, two, here we go. Inhale, pull down. Exhale, twist, press. Try not to bounce your upper arm off the floor. Control to the floor. Strong press to the top. Push. Very, very good. Up. Come on. 22 seconds remaining. You've got this. Big press. Beautiful. Inhale down. Exhale up. Nice job. We have 13 seconds. Very, very good. We have eight. Come on. Press. Twist. Good. I said twist. Ignore the twist. Three, two, and one. Awesome. Oh, take a second. That was great. My arms are dead. <laughs> I was like fast and furious. I feel like I already have T-Rex arms. I don't know. That's not a good sign. <laughs> going into the, the next set is going to be troublesome. Okay. Water if you need it. And then we'll get going. So this one, we actually just have two movements. So we're going to do kneeling, single arm overhead press. So we do start with both knees on the floor. Weight can start in the right hand. We're gonna press, bring it right back down. Um, last week, we did this, and I made a suggestion to count your reps. I'm not expecting you to remember your reps, but that's where kind of tracking, tracking these kinds of things is, is helpful. But your goal would be to see some progression. So whether that's you feel stronger in the movement or maybe you got one extra rep versus last week. We are gonna still keep it to the front line of the body, meaning we're not opening up to the side. We will be saving that for next week and the week after, okay? So this is still a very forward sagittal plane to the front of the body, okay? We're then gonna do floor fly, high, lower, lie. 
So we'll be in that bridge position again, and we're gonna fly. Now, do it from the floor. That's why it's a floor fly. I want the back of the arm, upper arm to hit the floor, not to hit, to gently come down with control to the floor. Once you're there, squeeze together, okay? All right, 45 seconds on one side, then the other three, two, here we go, press, control back down, press, and again, I'm using the kettlebell, but you can use a dumbbell, absolutely. Good, we're trying to maintain a strong center line. Beautiful, 28 seconds left. This radio station that I picked, hopefully you don't have it on, it's very, very mellow. <laughs> Press, good. 17 seconds, up. Beautiful, come on, we have 11 seconds. Nice job, we have eight. Keep pressing, you've got this. We have five, three, two, and one. 10 seconds, give yourself a breather. We'll switch on over to the other side. We take off in three, in two, and here we go. Press, control back down. Press, and control. Up, bring it in. Front rack position, up. Good, again, we're not opening up, not that any of you are, but we're keeping everything as much to the front line as we can, 24 seconds. There is tension in the other side of the body, whether it's here, 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 there's tension. Good, we have 14 seconds. So strong, come on, big press. Squeeze your cheeks. We have five, we have three. Two, and one, bridge position. We're going into our flies. We take off in three, two, and here we are. Inhale, open up. Upper arm hits the floor, exhale, close. Inhale, open up nice and slow. Maybe a little hover, exhale, close. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Very, very good. Again, in this bridge position, try not to put it all into the low back. So make sure that there is a bit of a posterior pelvic tilt happening. <sighs> Tilting of the sits bones, lengthening of your tailbone. <sighs> Excellent, we have 15 seconds left. Big squeeze, <sighs> nice job. Inhale, open, exhale, squeeze, pull back together. We have six, we have four, <sighs> we have three, two, and one. Awesome, quick transition. Going right back to our kneeling position. We take off in three, oh boy, two, and here we are. Up, control back in. Up, and back in. Very good, so notice again, are you sending power up from your hips? Part of the reason we're on this kneeling position is to limit our ability to use momentum from other areas of your body. Come on, push. So, so good. We have 12 seconds. Nice job. We have eight. We have four, three, two, and one. Woo! Hot damn. So good. Other side in five. In three, in two, and one. Inhale down, big exhale, push. Inhale back down, exhale, push. You've got it. So, so good. There you go, there you go, start, help your mom out. 28 seconds. Big press. Beautiful work, ladies, come on, up. We have 20 seconds. Good, come on, big press. We have 14, up, we have 10, so strong. Up, up, we have seven, floor fly, coming up next. Four, three, two, and one. Quick transition. I'm going to go ahead and go into that single leg bridge again. Right leg is going to lift. Three, two, clock is on. 
Nothing changes in regards to the fly. Nothing changes in regards to your hips except for just one leg is working. But you are still keeping tension in the other one. It's not just loosely hanging out. Beautiful. We have 27 seconds left right here. Inhale, open up. With control, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, open. Big exhale, squeeze. 18 seconds. You've got this. Come on. Beautiful work. Up. So good. We have eight. We have four, three, two, and one. Last time through. Last time through. That was a disjointed sentence. Kneeling position. Single arm. Three, two. Here we go. Hop. Control back down. Hop. Beautiful. We have 35 seconds. You are crushing it. Beautiful. Think of squeezing a yoga block. You don't need to have the knees together, but do think of creating a line of tension between the inner thighs. Okay, so the little bit of magnetism. 18 seconds. Exhale, press. Good, good, good. Come on. What that'll do is it prevents you from kind of just being in the joints. So again, it kind of just lifts everything slightly. Come on, we have five. Up. Two. And one. Oh, I'm glad that arm is done. Crushing it. Doing so, so good. Five, four, three, two. Here we go. Magnetize inner thighs. Tension through the midline. Tension in the opposite arm. Exhale, press. Inhale, pull. Exhale, press. Remember, we assist gravity by pulling or I should say, I like to think of it as we resist gravity. So it's not a quick down, it's a nice controlled down. 20 seconds, now it doesn't need to be a five second down, it doesn't need to be a very slow eccentric, but there is a matter of you controlling it. 10 seconds, Hup. control, we have five, three, two, one, Floor fly. Left leg will lift if you lifted one leg on the other side. We take off in four, three, two. Here we are. Inhale, open up. Can you feel the strong force of tension across your chest? Inhale, open up. Retract those shoulders. Keep that retraction as you close. 25 seconds left right here. Nice job. We have 16 seconds. You can do this. Come on. Beautiful. We have 11. So good. Come on. We have four. We have three, two, and one. Okay. Nice job. We are going to cycle right through. We're going to go into upright rows for 45 seconds. We're then going to go into that scarecrow press. Probably not realistic to think that you're going to lift really heavy on your scarecrow press, but we have upright row. Then we have scarecrow press. And then we have single arm heavy chest press on the floor. We will do one side for 45 seconds and then switch over to the other side. Okay. Just gonna do a quick time check here. Perfect. This should bring us right to the very end. Okay. <sighs> Upright row. I don't know why my clock's not making noise today, but okay, here we are. Upright. <sighs> Control back down. Exhale, pull. <sighs> Beautiful. <sighs> Up nice and close to the front line of the body over this is the start of a snatch this is the start of a clean beautiful we have 24 seconds I'm using 20s right here when we go to scarecrow quite honestly I might go to 10s <laughs> 10 seconds come on you've got it big pull control back down 
Strong pull. Three, two, and one. Loading up for your scarecrows. Taking off in five, four, three. Weights start facing you. Palms face you. Here we go. Open, press, all the way back. Open, press, all the way back. Those seem a little too light. Little alterations can happen. Open, press, control. Beautiful work. Up, 24 seconds. You got this. There we go. Single arm chest press. Try to go nice and heavy in your weight selection for your single arm chest press in 12 seconds. Beautiful. We have seven. We have three, two, and one. Heavy single arm chest press. On our backs, feet can be flat to the floor. Three, two, here we go. Close on down. Strong press. Beautiful. In, beautiful, up. So there's this little 45 degree angle at the bottom, and then a slight twist to the top if you're using a kettlebell. Palm will face the knees at the bottom, Palm faces inward at the top. If you're using a dumbbell, you're also very welcome to go ahead and try that little tiny twist. Press, we have 18 seconds. Beautiful. 12 seconds remaining. You've got it. Nice job, we have seven. Three, two, and one. Beautiful work. Loading up, other side. We take off in five. In three, two, here we go. Inhale down. Strong exhale, push and press. Beautiful. 45 degree angle. You got it, so hopefully this weight is quite challenging. I remember looking over at the clock on that first arm at 18 seconds thinking, oh my God, how do we have 18 seconds left? I hope that you're in that, that, that area of fatigue. We have 14 seconds left. Push. We stand back up, upright row, round two in seven. In four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Whew. Upright row, taking off in four, three, two, here we go. Good, nice and strong. Up the front line of the body. Think of elbows leading. 35 seconds left. So strong, so smooth. You've got this. Big pull, control back down. Strong pull up, control back down. About 20 seconds, up, beautiful, we have 15, come on, up, nice job, we have 10 more seconds, strong pull, so good, we have five, we have three, two, and one, okay, getting ready for your Arnold, four, we have three, two, here we are. Palms face us. Scarecrow. I said Arnold. I'm so sorry. This is a scarecrow. My bad. <laughs> Whoops. <sighs> I caught it. <laughs> Going through it. Scarecrow. Big press. Pull it right back to the front. Up. <sighs> Think of drawing your elbows together. Pull them apart. <sighs> 20 seconds. <sighs> We have 15, you're doing great, come on up. We have 12, up, eight seconds, come on. We have four, three, two, and one. Holy shit, my goodness. That just gets to be so much, single arm chest press. In three, in two, here we go. So, if you fatigued, if you hit a wall last time, Permission, slow it down. Not necessarily the movement, 
but take your time in between each rep. Remember, in our chest press, we don't want the arm to come up to that 90 degree angle. We'd rather it be at a 45 degree angle. Big press, come on. We have 20 seconds remaining. Up, beautiful. Strong up, again, hopefully this weight is challenging you. It's not a walk in the park. Hopefully you're not bouncing off the floor. We have five, three, two, and one. Switching sides. Oh my God, my arms are dead. Five. We have three, two, here we go. Inhale down, 45 degree angle. Exhale, push and press. Come on, up. Inhale down, exhale, press. Nice job, we have 30 seconds left. Twenty-three seconds. You can do this. Come on. Up. Eighteen. So strong. We gotta get through one more round, and then we are done. Come on. We have eight seconds. We have four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Standing tall. Upright row. In three, in two, here we are. Control back down, up, control. We have 35 seconds left. Beautiful, up, 30, come on. From here, we have our scarecrow press. Nice job, elbows lead, weights come right up the front of the body. We have 18 seconds. Try to tap into all aspects of your delts on this one. From the front to the medial to the rear. Come on, we have seven seconds. Up. We have four. We have three, two, and one. Getting ready for Scarecrow. <laughs> three, two, here we go, palms start facing us. Open wide, <sighs> big press. Oh, come on, up. You got this, beautiful work. 30 seconds left, right here, right now. Come on, recommit to yourself. I know your shoulders are burning. From here, think of using your rhomboids to open up. Big press to the top. Rear delts help you open up. Big press. We have 14 seconds left. We have 10, come on. We have five, three, two, one. So, so good. Getting ready for single arm heavy. Chest press, three, two, and here we are. Inhale down, exhale up. Last time doing this one, you got it. Inhale down, big push, beautiful. Good, 45 degree angle, strong up. We have 23 seconds left. So good, come on, up, 14 seconds. Beautiful, we have eight. Come on, big up. Three, we have two, and one. Oh my God. Switching up, other side. In four, in three, two, here we go. Inhale down, exhale, strong press. Inhale down, palms face your legs, your knees, that direction. Exhale as you press, palm turns inward. Slight pivot. Beautiful, come on. 26 seconds. Up. Nice job. Control the down. Big press, we have 15 seconds. 
So good. 10 seconds left. We have six. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my God. My arms. My little arms. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to finish. You can put your weights off to the side. We won't need those. Uh, sorry, except for a dumbbell. You will need one dumbbell. Just one. We're going to do a little push-up burnout on a dumbbell. So, we did include this in our sets last week. Interestingly, my hands feel better on my 15-pounder than they do on my 20-pounder. It doesn't really make sense to me because the 20-pounder is bigger, uh, so I feel like that would have more uh, surface area. But anyways, we are going to do three sets of eight. If you can't do eight, don't worry about it. Do what you can, but we're going to do three sets of eight push-ups, okay? We will rest for about 15 seconds in between. So these are going to get exponentially harder each round. Again, if you don't hit eight every time, it's okay. I'm going to just start off, honestly, from my knees. That's where I feel like I'm at right now. I know that I'm fatigued and tired. I know that I'll probably kind of lose my core if I go into my full plank position. So I'm gonna do them from my knees. You go where you need to go. Hands are on the dumbbell. So I'm holding the dumbbell like this. This is the base of your push-up position. Okay, elbows squeeze right in by your sides to the best of your ability. All right, so here we are. We start up, inhale down, exhale push. One, two, three, beautiful. Four, push five, belly stays tight. Six, seven, eight, sit back, relax. Start to think of how much of a badass you are. We got two more. Taking off in three, two. Here we are. Inhale down. Exhale. Push one, two. Pull yourself to that dumbbell. Push it away. Three, four, five, six, seven. And eight, sit on back. Woo, woo, woo. Almost there. Ready? We got one more. This brings us into our home stretch. Weights. Get on your weight. We take off in three, two. Here we are. Inhale down. Exhale, push. One, two, three, four. Come on, you got it. Five, six, seven, and eight. Congratulations, that was fantastic. Okay, all we have time for today is a little bit of scorpion. So we're gonna come down onto our belly. We are going to have our arms out to a T. We're going to spread the right fingers out. Pull the left hand in, begin to rotate, bringing the left foot to the floor if possible, or you can stack the legs, but it's very, very important to get into the chest that you are active in that right hand. <sighs> Push the right hand into the floor. Feel free to gently lift the head up. That'll also increase what you feel in that stretch. We're here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Coming on out, switching sides, rotating. Again, active left hand, pushing firmly into that hand for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, good, five, four, whoo, three, two, and one. I apologize for such a short stretch, but Pushing back to puppy dog, extend the hands out in front. Today, this is what I do have available. So we did a little bit of scorpion. We're getting into a happy puppy right now. Firmly pressing the palms into the floor. Feel free to repeat scorpion because it's so, so good. 
maybe 10 more seconds on each side, coming back to puppy, and that should be a good enough stretch for today. I hate that I just said good enough. Ew. <laughs> that should be a decent, a good, no, come on. That should be ample for today. <laughs> All right, have a wonderful day. I'm gonna go ski, and we'll see you soon. Bye.